healing light codes are flooding into the earth at this time and really activating our healing energy channels that are contained within our body and our energy field as well as really activating a healing momentum in the world right now and boy do we really need it hi my name is nancy rebecca with intuitive mind and in this video i'm going to be talking about what exactly are healing light codes what are light codes uh, what is the kind of the healing expansion that we're going through on the earth and uh, just a little bit about what you might experience. So hang in there with me as I try to explain this as the best that I can. Uh, I've been working as a clairvoyant psychic for over 25 years now. I can see the spiritual world and the other dimensions at the same time. I see the physical world that's just kind of how it's been for me since I had my psychic awakening uh, back in the early 90s. So let's just kind of get right into this. So um, healing light codes are specifically to activate our capacity as humans to be able to heal uh, in a quicker way, uh, adapt in a quicker way, and be able to integrate in a more kind of effortless uh, seamless way with the rapid transformation that we are all going through at this kind of energetic level. So the, one of the things that I always like to talk about, kind of what is my passion as a registered nurse, I've always liked to teach others about just how vitally important it is to maintain a healthy energy field so that our own human energy field can also maintain physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual health. However, what I've been noticing, especially since about 2017 and each year that's really bumped up for me, is spirit really showing me all the ways that you and I are kind of influenced by external energies. So, for example, just recently, um, last week was kind of chaotic for me. As a matter of fact, I always know when a video is of utmost importance about the topic I'm going to talk about because it gets kind of chaotic and loud. And so here I was all set up to do the video today, and then suddenly... Here it is, leaf blowers are going, lawnmowers are going, generators are going. This went on for almost three hours. I was kind of all dressed up with no place to go. I just kind of had to postpone until everything kind of calmed down. So just before I hit record, the uh, kind of the landscaping truck just kind of drove away. So if any other sound comes up, I'm letting it go because I've waited long enough. But last week, uh, in particular, I had uh, on a Friday, I had kind of a trouble with my car. So in my car, the door had filled up with water in the back seat. And this water then, it would kind of overflow into the floor of the back of my car. Well, it took me about six weeks to get the mechanic to even have time to take a look at it because with COVID, you know, their staffing's really low. And then <clears throat> they almost canceled. Uh, but got the car in and ultimately got it fixed with some vapor barrier or something like that. But it was pouring down rain here in uh, Washington. We're having tons of incredible floods and mudslides. But then <clears throat> our other car broke down within an hour from that. And then my granddaughter broke her arm in two places. And then uh, something happened to our dog. And then it was like I had some kind of health issue kind of suddenly, oddly come up that required a call to my doctor. It, it was just like one thing after another, just kind of this explosion of chaotic events that happened within a two to three hour period of time. Now, for me, whenever that happens, I know that there's a global event that happened that I am being impacted by. So kind of follow me here because I'm talking about these healing light codes and this kind of falls into that. I'm, I'm going to make my point here. It was so chaotic. So then the next day, Saturday, I'm still kind of wringing my hand, shaking my head like, what was that? Like, what caused that? 
Uh, and then suddenly the news came on that there was, uh, by the island of Tonga near Australia and New Zealand, was one of the largest volcanic eruptions that has happened in over 10 years in the history of our world. So this huge uh, volcanic blast happened. Now here I am in little Washington state. No, did I hear the volcano? No. Did I hear, uh, did I feel the energy? No. But... I most certainly was the recipient of, you know, an incredible number of kind of chaotic drama events that happened in a short period of time. So I don't know about you, but check out, um, it would have been Friday the 14th, I think, of January. So anyway, check that out uh, to see if you had any kind of crazy events happen around that time as well. So <clears throat> when it comes to these healing light codes, what I'm seeing as a clairvoyant, what I'm, I'm able to see in the other dimensions are these kind of sparkles of light that are coming down to the earth. And I will say last week in the angelic realm, it was highly active. It was just like swirls of angels all around. And I kind of stopped one of them and said, what's, what's going on? Is, is there an emergency? What's happening? And they said, no, no, no. We've got a lot of work to do on this side. Uh, there isn't anything that you need to take care of you know, at the human level. So I just kind of ignored it, even though I was acutely aware that it was very active in the spirit world. And then again, we ended up having this volcanic eruption. So there's a high level of activity going on now. And in addition to that, these healing light codes started to come in. I noticed around December 25th, Christmas day of 2021, and they continue to come in, but from what I'm being told, that surge is just going to get stronger and stronger, especially over the next five or six months. So when I think of kind of light codes that can contain information and can hold information like a magnetic type sense of information of high level knowledge for long periods of time, I think of the quartz crystal. So we use a lot of quartz crystals in high technology. You would know just your home computer is going to have quartz crystals in it. So stones and crystals have the capacity, they're a very stable energy field that can hold uh, data, trillions of bits of data. That's why the stone people in the ancient indigenous cultures talked about the stone people being able to be the, the ancient keepers of wisdom because you know, for hundreds of thousands of years, the stones can hold knowledge. Now, uh, the opposite of that is kind of the human energy field. We're not as stable in our ability to kind of hold our ground as information is coming in. We're kind of considered an unstable energy field. And it doesn't take a psychic to be able to tell you. It's like, yeah, one minute you can be fine. And then the next minute you just get emotionally triggered and you're kind of all over the place. So that's why we're kind of considered unstable. But what does that mean? Does it mean you're mentally off or emotionally off or physically? No, it just means that you are highly influenceable, meaning uh, that you can be easily influenced by the energies that are kind of coming in at you from all directions. And you can know this when, let's say you're having a great day and then, you know, maybe your teenager comes in or your spouse or a friend who's having a really bad day, you can really feel it. All of a sudden it's like, ooh, your energy just drops. So you're influenced by their mood or, you know, it's like the car breaks down, you know, that's going to influence you. So all of these things can influence us, our environment can influence us. That's why I teach uh, in all of my courses about grounding your energy field, bringing up more earth energy to really help build up the strength in your energy field so you can maintain a focus without being kind of knocked off your pins uh, and lose your focus when you're trying to accomplish just day-to-day -day life. So these light codes that are coming in, the reason and the purpose that they're coming in is because what Spirit, the Divine, was kind of describing to me was that um, there's been, over the past few years, we've been in this breaking down process. Uh, if you listen to any of my older videos, you're hearing me talking about 
we're releasing illusion to get to the truth. We're letting go of uh, trying to rely on other people outside of us to kind of guide us to what we're supposed to do. We're building up our own inner uh, intuition, our own inner instincts, our own capacity to trust uh, when intuition is guiding us to enough to take action. Uh, and we can see in the world where we're really getting into a lot of problems, <clears throat> excuse me, when um, we we believe somebody else's information. And so we know, you know, conspiracy theories or someone will tell us something. I mean, I know for me, anytime I read something now, it's like I go through the process of kind of checking, is this true or not? I have to check in inside. Does this feel like a truth for me? So all of that ultimately is helping us to build our intuition. However, in the breaking down of beliefs and corruption and uh, abuse and crimes against humanity, we've been breaking down, breaking down, breaking down. What had been hidden was being revealed. And so in that revealing process, you've heard me share this in another video, I was shocked at what was revealed. I didn't realize, you know, kind of embarrassed to admit this, that, that racism was still not just so bad, but horrific, you know? And so all of these things have helped all of us to open our eyes more. Now, back to the healing light codes. So what Spirit said was the year of 2022 was going to be the year of the healer. The healer is the inner ancient healer is awakening in all of us, not just some of us, not just select, not just a few special people. We all have healing energy channels. And so all of our healing energy channels are being expanded, awakened, and their capacity to help us heal and deal with life situations is uh, going up, is, is on the rise. Uh, so these healing light codes are activating all of us. Now for me, I've worked as a professional healer full time for 25 years. And uh, so I've cultivated my capacity to channel a high level of healing energy when I'm working with clients. But you don't have to be a professional energetic healer like I am to have a strong healing presence in your community, no matter what type of job that you do. And as Spirit tells me, they kind of equate uh, healing energy has a very similar frequency to the energy of kindness and caring. And so if you just can feel caring and kindness rise within you that compels you to want to be a healing presence, that's what's happening with these healing light codes. So I asked the divine, what is a healing light code? Because for me, the way that I can see it with the naked eye, but it's in the invisible world, it's like tiny little, you know, like you see golden glitter. Sometimes I'll see maybe a little silver glitter. Um, I'm also seeing like really kind of a white light, like an LED light. I'm also seeing some blues, like what I'm wearing or what you can see in the flowers behind me, that kind of blue. So there's kind of some blue hues around the gold and the silver. But for me, it looks like little sparkly glitters in the air. So the, the spirit showed me, kind of gave me an expanded microscopic view of what's inside these little sparks of light. And as the, it was magnified, I don't know, a thousand times, suddenly I could see a little symbol, a little symbol that we might call a code within each spark of light. So it wasn't the light that was the code, it was the code inside the light. <laughs> it's like the code, the little code, the little symbol has this brilliant light that radiates from it. But for us, for me as a clairvoyant, it looks very tiny, tiny, like the head of a straight pin. You know, it'd be a little tiny little spark like that. So when I was able to expand it with my clairvoyant sight, I could see numbers. 
I could see um, like hieroglyphics. I could see the little, you know, cuneiform is a form of communication. I think in the ancient Sumerian tablets, I could see um, in what is the Irish, the Celtic tradition. I can't remember what those are called. Um, and then there were definitely some other types of symbols that I've never seen before. Now, I'll tell you that I could probably slow it down and write this symbol and, and then ask spirit what it means. And um, I could probably write a thousand page book with all the symbols in it and it might take me the next 15 years. However, I don't have all that time and it's all moving fast and about the time we absorb that something new is going to change but the point is <clears throat> it's almost like dna or genetics that when it falls and it touches our aura and it comes into our aura that's when it activates our own healing channels and it expands our capacity and raises your vibration so that you can heal quicker with the um, the awakening of consciousness that seems to be coming in these huge waveforms to the earth. So what Spirit was explaining is that, you know, when you breathe the air, you get like little dust particles or little pollen particles. All of those kind of carry genetics, DNA in them. Um, it may pick up a little piece from the tree or the dirt or you're drinking water and you've got the minerals or you've got little uh, bits in the water that you can't even see but um, can be kind of genetic DNA type influences that when you drink it, it kind of touches your own DNA and genetics and gets it activated. Um, we pick up bacteria and genetics and skin cells from each other in the family. So we share that. I remember reading once that um, that when I had my child, that just carrying my, my child in the womb who has the DNA and genetics from both the mother and the father, that through the blood circulating through the mother, that I will forever pick up the DNA and genetics from my husband, the father of the child. So, so we're, we're always being kind of <clears throat> influenced and activated by these uh, different cells. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So let me just kind of, so I just wanted to explain uh, from what spirit has shown me what's happening to the earth, what's happening on the earth right now. We're going through a healing expansion. Uh, what exactly is a healing light code activation and then how that might feel to you so spirit was explaining to me you know when you go for a swim maybe it's a fresh water or salt water maybe it's just taking a shower or in the bath how you feel refreshed you feel lighter you feel brighter you kind of feel awakened uh, it kind of puts a little smile on your face you feel a little more uplifted that's what spirit was describing to me these healing activation codes uh coming in are going to help you to feel a little more uplifted a little brighter a little lighter however what is not uh of that healing light what needs to be shed is going to rise to the surface as your vibration frequency goes up uh, what cannot be sustained at that vibration frequency must shed and drain down your grounding. So you definitely want to be able to ground more. On my website, intuitivemind.org, I do have free downloadable uh, meditations that you can download. And I always talk about grounding and I voice guide. So you can download one of those if you would like to listen to um, a new way to ground. So uh, that's one of the things. The other thing is you may start to notice your body start to heat up. Um, you may feel just a surge. And I know I'm a woman in my 60s. I know what hot flashes feel like. But this is, and it can feel very similar to a hot flash. But these are happening with men and with women. Uh, they can happen random and they're not totally like a hot flash. It's just like this surge of healing energy is shooting through your body. As a healer, if you are feeling kind of called to be a healer for others or maybe cultivate your healing ability, sometimes when you stand next to someone, suddenly your whole body heats up. 
Uh, that happens for me a lot when I'm working with a client. When my body heats up, ah, I know it's going to be good that, that, that the client is going to experience a really good healing that day. But the other thing is, is that you may find uh, that your hands are getting really hot. So if you are feeling uh, that type of healing energy get activated in you, it means that take those hot hands and place them somewhere on your own body. So you could place them on your own heart, or maybe your stomach's bothering you, or maybe your head's bothering you. So you can take your, uh, not waste that healing energy that's coming out of your hand channels. So you've got little chakras in each of the palms of your hands. So put your hands somewhere. Or if you're standing next to someone, your hands heat up and it's like, can I just put my hands on your shoulders? I'm feeling them get really hot. I want to see if you can feel it. So you can kind of play with it that way as well. But healing uh, light codes are coming to the earth. And this is how I'm seeing for the next six months, there's going to be a big surge. Uh, but what I'm being shown is around mid-February is when the biggest surge is going to start coming in. Right now, when I'm just walking down the street or I'm at the grocery store, I'm looking around, I'm seeing a lot of light around everyone's fifth chakra. The fifth chakra is the communication chakra. Inside your fifth chakra is what's called your inner voice. If you close your eyes right now and you imagine uh, looking at your own inner voice with your own inner eyes, it looks like a little uh, ball about the size, uh, diameter of a quarter, maybe a half dollar. It's going to look like a little sun when it's healthy and whole. It's going to be quite bright. What I'm seeing is these healing um, light codes that are coming in are really coding around the fifth chakra. So when I ask spirit, huh, I don't see it anywhere else in the field. Why is it coming in there? And it's like, because it's communicating the codes to you. It's uh, kind of downloading in the communication center. So then the communication center can communicate these new high frequency, high knowledge healing light codes to the rest of your chakras. So then I use my clairvoyant sight to kind of move a little forward into the future. And then I see that, um, that then the light codes seem to get quite activated, gold frequency up in the crown chakra. I see it then move to the root chakra. So those are the next two chakras that seem to really get activated for the majority of people who are being activated by these light codes. Uh, and then as we just kind of move into uh, mid-February, into March, April, May, it just starts flooding our body little bits by little bit. So you're going to, to hopefully just feel lighter, brighter, refreshed, and uh, hopefully a little more kind and caring and, uh, and loving and uh, wanting to feel compelled to help others. You might feel it that way. You may just notice that you're becoming more of a healing presence for yourself and for others. You may even notice that your own healing, um, your own health is improving. That would be really super nice. But for right now, it's a little chaotic as we are shifting to these new vibrations and frequencies. I am definitely not the expert when it comes to healing light codes. I did do, however, a little Google search because I wondered um, out there in the universe, in the world, how many people are talking about light codes and whew, there was a lot of information out there. So be discerning when you read more information, feel into your gut, does that truth of the information that's coming through to you does it resonate with you or not? Because you know, there's a lot of information out there. Take in what makes sense, let go of the rest, even when it comes to listening to my videos. But thanks for tuning in. We're gonna learn a lot this year in 2022 along the way. I just know it. So uh, let's <clears throat> hang in there. I always say we're stronger together than we are apart. I guess I better get going. I'm starting to lose my voice, but please uh, click the subscribe button and the little bell if you want to get notified whenever I upload a new video, but I tend to do it about once a week. So, And write in the comments section if you've been noticing anything that I'm talking about. Have you been noticing any changes? 
come back and visit uh, in a few weeks or another month if you've uh, had any other experiences and share them. I always read them. Don't always have time to respond, but I love to read your posts. So leave one in the comment section. All right, everyone, take care. Have an awesome time opening up to a new level of healing your own life and seeing an expansion of healing happen in the world. Take care.